In this ASCOT beta demo, we're going to demonstrate how to share folders and nested folder trees. So, we've got a group wise Windows client open. We've got our cabinet that has some folders, correspondence, projects with some subfolders, RFPs, and student questions. We'll just start with a standard share. I'm going to take a single folder. I'm going to right mouse on it and say sharing. I'm going to share this and I'll pick Ed Hanley. Ed Hanley is one of our consultants and he can certainly answer student questions. So, I'm going to Give him default rights are read and add to that folder. I'm going to give him the ability to edit and delete out of there. Select OK. There will be an email message that Ed will receive about the share. I'm going to say, use that you may answer. Since Ed has a wealth of knowledge, he can answer questions with the best of them. Notice the icon on the folder. A little hard to see here. A little man, a shared folder. I'm just going to proxy over to Ed since I have proxy rights to Ed's. And I'll see that here's the shared notification for that share. Student questions. Select next. Where would Ed like to put that in his cabinet? Student queues, finish, and we now have access there. We click on that and we can now uh, share folders. And we could uh, drag and drop or move or copy folders over. So I'm just going to drag and drop the email into here. And now we've got a two. And if I go back, to my account and look at that. So yeah, we have two unopened items in there, so they correspond with those. Regular standard share that we had in previous versions. I'm now going to take a folder tree. And what's new with Ascot is now we uh, now have the ability to share not just individual folders uh, in previous versions of GroupWise. Even if I would share the top level folder, it would not share the sub tree with the share. I'd have to share each individual folder. Now, I'm going to go to my projects here, sharing. I'm going to share this with a few people. Let's say share this with Alex, share this with Dana, Dean, and Jay. I'll share with those four people. And you'll notice here again, I've got the default rights of read and add. But new here is this share all subfolders. So in here, I'm going to uh, just select all my users here and give them edit and delete rights in that folder. And I'm going to say select share all subfolders. Click OK. Again, now there'll be the email message that these users will receive. Share will add four subfolders under projects as well. So I'm going to select OK. And now notice that now all of the folders are shared in the folder tree. And if I now go to any one of those users, let's go to Alex. And if I click on here, it's the email that says share folder tree notification. And accepting this will uh, add four subfolders under projects. It's like next. Where would I want that placed in the cabinet? I'll select finish. And now we have the entire folder tree is being shared. Once you share the folder tree, though, the folder tree is shared. I cannot go back and try to share an individual top level folder only with somebody because in that share, it will have all those subfolders selected. So again, once I've done that, if I go back to my account, under Paul, uh, and if I select projects and try to share that again, it does come up with the existing share, and the only thing I can do is add additional people to the share. I cannot say I want to share that projects folder only with somebody else and not the subfolders. So once you share the tree, the tree is shared. And this concludes our demo on folder tree sharing.